Importance of Effective Communication Communication is more than talking, reading, writing, procedures. Communication is also exchanging ideas, information, and knowledge between individuals, and between crew and management ashore. Ability to convey information by word of mouth and slash or by written communication is important to the safety of ship's crew, visitors, and passengers and to the well-being of crews. Challenge for the DPA is to create an environment of openness and just culture. Think of any famous leader you like, for example, Steve Jobs, Gandhi, Churchill, Obama, or any other. Do you know what is common thing between them? The common thing between them is that they all use what is called a golden circle to communicate. Most of us know what we do. Most of us know how we do what we do. But what most of us don't really know is, why we do, what we do. Now you might think, well I do it for money. That is not true at all. Money is never the why. Money is the means to get the why. Most human beings communicate from outside of golden circle to inside of golden circle. The difference with leaders is that they communicate from inside to outside of the golden circle. Let's take an example. Let's imagine that as a DPA you have to instruct the master of a vessel to carry out the SMS review. In normal circumstances, you would communicate with him as follows. Dear Captain, please review the SMS, i.e. You start by communicating the what. Then you tell him, please use the SMS list in your safety management system. I.e. you tell him the how. Then you tell him, this is important for the external ISM audit coming up. I.e. you tell him the why. This was an example how most people communicate from outside of the golden circle to inside. Next time change your communication style to start from inside of golden circle to outside. So, using the same example you should communicate as follows. Dear Captain, we have a very important external ISM audit coming up and our company's reputation is at stake. I.e. you start the communication by telling him the why. Then you tell him, please use the instructions and checklist in the safety management system. I.e. you tell him the how. Then you tell him, please do a thorough review of the SMS. I.e. you tell him the what. Try the golden circle method in your workplace or personal life and you will see that it makes a big difference. Types of communication methods. People communicate, both verbally and non-verbally. Surprisingly 93% of our communications are nonverbal. Some of the types of nonverbal communications are as follows. 1. Kinesics. Kinesics is the term used for communicating through various types of body movements, including facial expressions, gestures, posture, and stance. 2. Oculusics. Oculusics, a subcategory of kinesics, is the study of eye movement, eye behavior, gaze, and eye related nonverbal communication. 3. Proxemics. Communicating through the use of space is known as proxemics. 4. Para language. This covers modern methods of communication such as emails, telephone, or text messaging. You have now completed the DPA training. I hope that you enjoyed the course. Good luck with your final test.